As we discussed in the last few videos, Bitcoin is beginning a pre-having dumpy that has the potential to initiate the biggest upside boing in history. However, how low does Bitcoin have to go first before the bulls can expect a very big boing? Well, I'm gonna be honest. You're gonna wanna sit down before you watch this video. Bitcoin right now is at a very decisive, very pivotal, critical moment as we got a weekly close uh, just yesterday that is very interesting. And I absolutely believe that as I've been saying for the last few videos, this has the potential to turn into a multi-week pivot uh, from Bitcoin's current prices. I'm gonna be talking exactly about what I think needs to happen. And most importantly, uh, is this going to be big or is it actually gonna be extremely big? So if you understand that before the biggest pumps sometimes come itsy bitsy dumps, hit that like, hit that subscribe, get signed up to Femex below to buy Bitcoin or altcoins, and as well check out BingX below as well, a current uh, massive deposit bonus. And without any further ado, let's absolutely jump into these charts and what exactly they're showing us. So as you can see on the seven day chart for Bitcoin, we just got our weekly candle close. Um, you know, just hours ago. And this is the definition of an indecision candle. But I'm gonna be talking about exactly what I think needs to happen. And most importantly, um, if we are going to be entering a continued, you know, one, two, even three week pullback as we head into the Bitcoin halving, which the Bitcoin halving is right about here on this chart. This is a weekly chart. And right about here is when the Bitcoin daily supply issuance is going to be cut in half. And this is the biggest event, basically, uh, every four years for Bitcoin. It's like the biggest thing that happens to Bitcoin, and it happens once every four years. And we're just a few weeks away, right? Insanely close, less than or about, right about exactly a month away from this massive event. And right now, Bitcoin, if you look at the daily weekly chart, it looks like it actually might want to initiate a multi-week dump episode. So if we look at Bitcoin's daily chart, as we highlighted a few days ago, we've gotten a bearish MACD cross on the daily chart uh, after multiple weeks of bearish divergence that was being printed on this chart as well. We see that and we've seen that kind of play out. However, right now we are literally straddling right on the 21 day moving average. And I'm gonna be honest, we could see a very quick move below this. Um, I, I think quicker than people expect if this move continues. Now, I made a video, I think on Friday, and Bitcoin was right at about right at about 69, nice, 70,000 US dollars. And after I posted it, I, in the video I said, I think we're most likely gonna go down. And then right after I posted it, we pumped a couple hundred dollars and immediately I was flooded with comments like, no, we're actually gonna keep going up, right? We're gonna keep going up. And then like an hour after that, we started a much bigger dump. You can see on this candle, we actually did continue dumping. And I think a lot of people realized, hey, oh, actually wait, this looks maybe more like a short-term rejection. So fast forward, the last few videos, I've been saying, I think this could turn into a longer dumpy trend. And I actually wanna make the case of why, obviously one, I'm extremely bullish on Bitcoin. I think this is probably the best thing that could be happening to Bitcoin right now, if you want the price to have a very successful 2024. As, I mean, honestly, it already has, even within just the first quarter, it's already been doing really well. But getting a pullback here is absolutely critical, absolutely healthy, absolutely good to reset some of this momentum you can simply not go up forever, right? I keep saying that, but you have to understand, we need pullbacks. And right now it looks like, still very early on, but there's a lot of signs actually shaping up that this pullback is absolutely going to be, in my opinion, the final pullback before absolutely busting through 70, 71, 72, and heading up to that $80,000 level and maybe beyond in just the next month or two. But first, I wanna make the case for, you know, why this chart is actually showing something for Bitcoin specifically that I think we have to be paying attention to. Uh, on, on the four hour chart for Bitcoin, you do see that this price action, we've been putting in lower lows, right? It's been happening now for basically the past week. We've been putting in lower low after lower low and lower highs as well. So that's the first thing we wanna pay attention to and we absolutely do not wanna ignore. The stock market as well, the SPX has still this bearish divergence that very easily could play out. We have the DXY potentially getting set up for a smaller bounce. It's had three green days. It's still absolutely dumped on, but it has, has had three green days. Is it going to potentially try to make a move higher? It's possible, especially as I think people um, understand these the rate cuts from the Fed might be pushed out uh, a little bit later than expected, right? I think many people were anticipating 
what, four or five or six rate cuts this year. Maybe we'll only get two or three or something because the Fed, you know, as more data comes out, it seems like they're less likely to really get aggressive with these cuts. Uh, I think that for the most part, we're probably just going to stay in this range for maybe a little longer in terms of the rate cuts. But um, on Bitcoin's weekly chart as well. So we see the halving coming up. We see that a massive accumulated uh, area of volume is around 58,000 on this chart. It's actually, um, you know, very, it's a very important level, very important range. 60,000 as well. Uh, 60,000 as well is a pretty big level. Uh, you can see 58 is just massive. We take into account historical um, resistance for Bitcoin. And obviously we talked about the daily chart, how this momentum is swinging downwards. We're also seeing our first, uh, uh, our first tick on the weekly chart, MACD, of showing signs of a potential um, change in this direction as well. And obviously, we look on the weekly chart, we see this very indecisive candle here. A huge thing to be looking out for is that, you know, this is a brand new week, brand new week. If we get, because we had this high close around 69, nice, and then we had this most recent candle actually close a little bit lower than that. So that's not a great sign if you want Bitcoin to go up immediately, right? This is another sign showing us that we're actually maybe in store for another few weeks, another one to two weeks of maybe a pullback and sideways consolidation. Maybe altcoins can run in that time, but I'm talking specifically about Bitcoin right here. Now, this candle right here, this is brand new. We have over six days left until this candle closes. But if this candle closes below the candle that we just got printed yesterday, if it closes basically below 68,000, then that almost assures that we're going to see continued price movement to the downside for at least, you know, at least the next two weeks or so. Basically, this, this candle right here is a very big indecisive candle. And this one right here is extremely important. It's a brand new week. This could obviously change at any moment. But all I'm saying is that if we go out through, if we go throughout this week and this candle does not get bought up, this brand new weekly candle, if it does not get bought up, and if we see continued downside pressure, guys, I want to talk about how potentially low we could go. Obviously, I think that 58,000, as I've been saying since last week, is very easily in play very easily that's not even that's not even you know it's not even that big of a dump it would honestly put us down to about the 50-day moving average as well this would be a very nice touch we haven't been down to the 50-day moving average since we basically got a bullish cross back in february um as bitcoin was going for it was consolidating around forty-three thousand us dollars so kind of like um we had a big downturn after the ETFs and then we started to regain momentum, got a bullish cross, and that's when we last visited the 50 day. So I'm not saying we're guaranteed to get there, but absolutely that's healthy and in play around 58,000. Now, before we continue with that, let's take a look at this. So GBTC is sending about 3000 Bitcoin, which is about 180 million um, outflows basically so far. And so the sell-off is not over according to Alessandro, but the amount is not incredibly significant. So if we see continued outflows continue to decrease from GBTC, that's a good sign for the market. Um, and also I wanna highlight that relative to historical cycles, we really have not even begun this cycle. If we look here, you can see um, we are in black right here, all the way here. We have so much time to go, but also appreciation to go. Uh, before this, we can expect to continue as well. Uh, we also see this um, up to 100 billion could flow into Bitcoin ETFs, says global banking giant Standard Charter. Already, we've seen uh, 60 billion, right? This was already blowing a lot of people's expectations out of the water. And um, I, I think, honestly, 100 billion is going to be a low target as well. And, um, you know, with this new trading week starting, the amount of Bitcoin on exchanges is lower and lower, which historically also signals that the price is getting ready to move more to the upside. If we keep seeing a 2.5 billion net inflow per week into these ETFs, it means roughly about 35,000 Bitcoin per week is gonna be bought from the nine. And then we can continue to see this yellow line, which is the exchange balance go down. I mean, look historically, this goes all the way back here to about September of 2021. And look how low it is in terms of exchange balance. If we start seeing these exchange balances start rising week after week, that is something also to look for in terms of maybe um, maybe a top being close. But absolutely, we're not even close to seeing that. Not at all. These exchange balances are completely completely getting dumped on. So really, right here, as Bitcoin sits right on the 21 day, I think that we're in a very interesting position to where we could see a pretty big 
it, it, pretty much any one of these days, we could see a drop. Um, I'm not predicting it's going to happen right now, but pretty much as long as we sit on this 21 day moving average, we are in danger of, of having a move down similar to uh, what happened here on January 12th, where we kind of visited it. But then in the same daily candle, we went to the 50 and 100 day moving average. Now, I mean, that was a, a bigger dump, right? We went from about, what, 46,000 all the way down to under 40. So not a gigantic move, but I think that realistically, a move to the 50 day moving average over the next one to two weeks would one, be re very healthy, but also be um, realistic. And it's not a bad thing either. Now, it's still way too early to say we're gonna exactly go there. However, all I'm saying is that at this very second, uh, unless we would get a massive bounce and actually start putting in higher highs instead of lower highs, right? Because basically, I mean, really, if I would, if I would have to say, if we get above, let's say 71,000, then I personally think that we will not, we have the possibility of negating a multi-week downtrend. If we can close a daily candle above 71,000, let's just, I'll throw out an actual number instead of just saying random, random, um, targets. Now, also looking at the four hour chart, you know, are we potentially forming kind of an inverse head and shoulder here, where let's say we break a neckline around, you know, 68, five or 69,000. Could we then have a move up? Right? Absolutely. Now we just have to wait and see how the chart plays out. Cause right now, again, it has been consistently for the past four days, lower lows and lower highs. Um, and we are, we do have that very realistic possibility for the first time in multiple months to actually have a multi-week downtrend, which we really haven't had in multiple months. It's realistic and it would be healthy, but it's not guaranteed. Really seeing how Bitcoin holds this 21 though, it's very, it's very important to watch here because this is that level where we can see a very big breakdown and people lose their mind. So I'm just trying to prepare you for, for this. We're at a very pivotal moment. Uh, we're a very pivotal moment where we could see massive price acceleration. The reason I'm telling you this is because a lot of the times, you know, maybe once every couple months with Bitcoin, a massive move happens. And then people will come out saying like, oh my gosh, why did that happen? I had no idea this was going to happen. Why did it happen? Well, I'm telling you right now, we're in exactly that type of moment where we could see something like that. And I'm telling you why, right? So I'm telling you beforehand instead of after it happens. So infinitely more valuable, way more valuable. I'm trying to tell you this before it happens. Um, so realistically, again, very big moment for Bitcoin. This is a, this is a point where I would not, I'm not personally picking a direction yet until we see how it reacts right on this, um, right on this moving average and get signed up to Femex below if you buy Bitcoin or altcoins, as well as Bing X, if you cannot register to Femex and without your further ado, that's it for me.